Hi angels, welcome back to my channel. It's LaDonna. Hi, today we're going to do another centerpiece uh, for a wedding. Um, this bride has chosen uh, burgundy, uh, rose gold, ivory, and gold. Um, so with this centerpiece, um, you're going to need two of the cylinder uh uh, vases. Uh, these are the, I believe, the seven and a seven and a quarter inch. Uh, so we're going to spray paint them. We spray painted them gold. It's a brilliant gold, brilliant gold from uh, uh, Krylon. I'm sorry, I couldn't even think where it was from, but it's a brilliant gold from um, Krylon. <laughs> I couldn't find this time of the year any of the colors that the bride wanted so all of my uh, flowers have been spray painted uh the burgundy is a satin burgundy and that's this color and the roses didn't turn out turn out as quite as brilliant as the hydrangeas did um then we also have uh, a vintage blush and this is from Rust-Oleum and that's how these turned out the roses and the hydrangeas okay and then we also have um, I think it's a satin uh, almond and it's from uh, Krylon and so there is the um, the hydrangea. Don't see any of the <laughs> of the uh, roses that are cut. But anyway, let's get started. Okay, you're also going to need um, the uh, foam uh, blocks. Uh, I got the ones that are cut already into fours. Uh, so look for that one so you don't have to do quite as much cutting uh, with the the uh, foam uh, blocks because they get flower blocks. Uh, they get a little messy. Um, I'm also using the gold uh, diamond wrap. And we're going to use E6000. Um, our scissors and our uh, wire cutters. And I believe that's it. So what we're going to do, of course, we're going to go outside and spray paint in a, a ventilated area. Uh, go outside and spray paint your, your uh, vases uh, the color of your choice. It doesn't have to be what I'm doing, <laughs> but uh, spray paint them the color of your choice. Uh, then we're going to turn them uh, bottoms, uh, the bottom side up. And then this one's going to remain regular and we're going to glue them together with your e6000 okay so i'm taking the e6000 and spreading it on to the top i'm also going to use the uh hot glue to get it to go a little bit faster for video purposes so i'm just going to put just a little bit around kind of help it stick a little faster and better. Okay, and then I'm just going to let, line them up. And... Okay, then I'm going to use the bling wrap. Measure it out and cut it. And using my hot glue gun,
it's, it's just going to give it kind of the illusion that it's taller than it actually is. Um, I just want some of the centerpieces to be tall, um, some of them to be on the shorter end. So I'm doing three different uh, centerpieces for this wedding. Okay, so now I have the uh, the bling wrap wrapped around the uh, flowers, I mean the base. And so now I'm going to go ahead and start on the uh, the flower arrangement. And like I said, you're going to need uh, one one block of the flower foam. And what I did is I just kind of set it on the top, uh, kind of put a little pressure on it, and just kind of push down in there until mm, it starts breaking away. See? And then I'm just going to break these little side pieces off. Press it in until it's just right there, kind of equal to the to the top. Okay, so then I start uh, cutting away your flowers uh, from the bunch, and I left about mm, inch, inch and a half, two inches uh, on the flower themselves. Uh, I just started putting them in the uh, flower foam. Um, I did several different, uh, I did, I started out like the burgundy in the middle with some, I started some with the blush pink in the middle, and then I started the beige in the middle. Uh, so when you're done with it, it looks a little something like this. And again, this is for like, um, I'm doing it like for uh, three different arrangements for this bride. Uh, so I'm going to have three different uh, levels of, of, uh, of centerpieces. But this is number one. I'll be back with a second one. I kind of wanted to show you what I meant by I started uh, ones in the middle. So what I did was if I started uh, this color in the middle, it was also the majority color of the flower itself. Everything turned out like a little X almost. Uh, so I used, looks like nine flowers on each arrangement. And uh, again, I started out in the middle with that color. So I used the other two colors on the other two ends. Then I used on each end, the same color I started out with in the middle. And that was the way it was also on this one. Started out with the blush pink. And on this one, I started out with the burgundy. And that's it. Uh, again, I want to thank you all for joining me on my channel. I, uh, If you'll just uh, give me the thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and share. I'd appreciate it. Thank you, angels. Bye.